what is going on beautiful people it is your girl kiana and welcome back to another video happy candle day weekend guys i hope that you guys are having so much fun i myself am having a blast okay anytime candle day rolls around because it is the most wonderful time of the year your girl is in hog heaven okay yes i am because anytime i can get a good deal on a candle and i have a coupon that makes for a wonderful damn day and weekend i might add so you see this nice little tower that i have next to me and Yes, girl. Your girl went in and she showed out just a little bit, as I always do around Candle Day, because we love a good damn candle on this channel. And it always makes it so much better when the hubby loves a good damn candle as well. So for all of you who love good damn candles, you are going to love this video. So here are my receipts. I actually do have a third one flying around somewhere. I do not know where it is. I ain't gonna worry about it because that's not what you're here for. You're not here to look at receipts. You want to see what I found in store. Did I get some hidden gems? Let's see. So this is going to be a little bit of a long one. So go ahead and grab you a nice little snack, whatever drink or beverage you prefer, and let's get it in. Let's go. All right. So the first one that I got is an OG. This candle is literally a part of Whiteborn's primary collection, if you will. This candle was like, where is Waldo last year? For some reason, it was a hidden gem. I was like, what? So I wasn't going to risk it this year. So I ended up getting Paris Cafe, Bonafide Starbucks Candle Hunt. If you love coffee, this is the coup de gras, okay? I love coffee fragrances, and I love to burn this candle. It is one of Bath & Body Works' strongest candles. It is a powerhouse. But I am going to say, no, no, no. Do not be shy of this candle. Don't be afraid of it on first sniff because on cold, it'll knock you off your socks. Now, it is strong, but it's pleasantly strong. So I would say purchase it, disregard how it smells on first sniff if you're scared of coffee, but burn it in your house, but only burn one. It is a very creamy, robust coffee with a little bit of vanilla. You got a little bit of brioche in this and it smells amazing, guys. It smells amazing. Only burn one. You burn two, you're gonna run yourself out of there. <laughs> so in this candle, you have rich roasted coffee, sugar brioche, and then vanilla cream. Smells amazing. Got two. Wasn't playing with Paris Cafe this year. <laughs> All right, the next candle that I ended up picking up. This is my first time owning this candle, so it's not new to Bath & Body Works, but new to my collection, okay? So yes, I am so, so happy to have entered the community. <laughs> and that is French Baguette. Now, I love every second of this packaging. It's so simplistic, but it's cute at the same time. Literally looks like a nice bakery on the front, right? It literally looks like a bakery sign. I like it. So in this one, you have dough, crispy crust and then a pot of butter and honey that's what it smells like it smells like bread is baking okay it smells amazing and i cannot wait to burn this in my kitchen so i had it in my mind guys and i don't know if it's going to kind of run me out of the house or not but i just want to see how this smells blended with paris cafe like is it really going to smell like a bona fide cafe up in this spot you know Welcome to Henderson's Cafe. How may I serve you? <laughs> That's what I'm going for. So I cannot wait to burn this candle. My husband actually got this online as well. So guess what? Great minds think alike because he didn't even think that I was going to like it, but he purchased it anyway because he thought it was going to be amazing. So I like it. <laughs> All right. The next one is an oldie but a goodie as well, but I had to have it in this ceramic-like type packaging. My sister was burning it, and I said, you know what? I haven't had it in my collection for a while. Why not just go ahead and grab one? So I picked it up, and that's Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla. Y'all know this is a throwback, and it's a tried and true white barn packaging, and I love it. Isn't it so nice? <laughs> Simplistic. I love it. So fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. 
Oh, that is exactly what you get. Is no other description needed. Smells very, very good. You do have to love things that smell nice and warm and spicy. Spicy in that you got that cinnamon, nutmeg, you know, kind of sort of quality. So I like it, especially with the vanilla in the background. Smells amazing. And when it's burning, it is A1. I love it. Okay, so this next one, guys. Oh my gosh. So let me tell you what happened. So my mom had gone with me on day one early that morning, right? And my mom is the traditional lover of candles. So we ended up going into the standalone store and she ended up getting frosted cranberry, black cherry below, and then she absolutely adores strawberry pound cake now. So guess what? They freaking sold out of strawberry pound cake. So we have been trying to track that candle down. So later on that night after an event, we decided to go to the mall store. So this was around eight o'clock. So let me tell you how I got this gym. Let me scoot in. Okay, let me scoot in, girl. Girl. So I'm thinking that the sales associates was like, you know what? We've been in here since five o'clock. We've been cleaning up all of this stuff. If people have been everywhere. So we're trying to get out here a little bit early so we can get home and get some rest because we got to start over fresh tomorrow. Okay. So what they did was they started replenishing the store. Yes, I did find her strawberry pound cake. You're welcome, mom. Actually, my husband found it and my little sister because we were on the hunt. Okay. But they were putting out some new stuff. Girl, they were putting out the new post-release candles, like post-candle day releases. So I'm thinking that they were supposed to be released next week, but I got mine yesterday. I was like, what? Girl, throw it in the bag. She was like, did you want anything else? Did I need to get a crate? Did you need to get a crate? Did you need to get a crate? Sis, you need to get a crate like yesterday, okay? <laughs> so yes, that is how I scored these next few candles, okay? So let's go ahead. Let me back on up about it away. So, hun, that is a little secret. If you go into candle day, try to do on day one twice. Go in the morning, get what you want, and then go towards the end of the day, like around like 8 o'clock, an hour to close in, maybe an hour and a half to close in, and see if they're actually restocking and replenishing because they want to get out of there too. They've dog tired by that time, so you might find some hidden gems or some new new. You understand? <laughs> so there you go. Sharon is caring. We don't gatekeep, okay? So this is the candle that I found, y'all. It's pistachio and toasted vanilla. What did you say? How about this blanket-like type packaging? Isn't this cute? I love it. It's already telling you that this is meant for the warm and cozy Netflix and chill type moments, okay? So in this is salted pistachio, then toasted vanilla almonds. So it is a very creamy vanilla-like type nuttiness, and I love it. It smells so, so divine. You get a lot of those pistachio in this, and I'm okay with that because I love pistachios. And this is so, so good. Definitely recommend, again, warm and cozies. I am going to burn that probably this weekend. Yes, because, yet, yeah, girl, I'm a naughty elf this year. I am a naughty elf this year. My Christmas stuff is not up just yet, just the bare minimum. So I have to work on that this weekend, okay? <laughs> Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> but anyway, the next one also was being put out. Now, not necessarily new to Bath and Body Works because it has been released before, but in this packaging, and that is Cuddle Weather. Look at it. Cuddle Weather, a nice blanket. Oh my gosh, it's already bringing the coziness, okay? So in this one, you have warm gingerbread tea cinnamon shortbread and then of course it says a cozy blanket oh yes and hun the gingerbread boom hit you right at the door so you have to love spiciness just like the cinnamon spice vanilla you gotta love spiciness and that's what this is it's i don't so much get the herbalness of the tea but you definitely get gingerbread 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 and I love it because I love gingerbread. I wish they come out with creamy gingerbread. I haven't seen that this year. Have you guys seen it? Like cream, I think it's gingerbread something. And then it's one that's a creamy nutmeg. I haven't seen that, but I love that. So I love this one. All right. The next one, mashup candle. Now, y'all, this is the ugliest packaging 
that I have ever seen. I could have made this with some clip art, okay? <laughs> and that is the sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. Now, this smells really good, but I'm gonna tell you, this top fragrance is taking over this whole entire candle, but you do get a little bit of that blueberry in the background that smells very good. And in this is sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice, and then crystallized sugar. Now, quite honestly, the lemons come first and then the sugar blueberries come next that's what i get it literally can pass off what is it sugar lemon zest i would rather i think it probably should have been named sugar lemon zest and then blueberry sugar that's what it smells like to me you know what i mean but it smells good it smells just like a blueberry lemonade i like it i ended up getting two the next one and i think is that it, okay so the next one this was actually on my wish list okay so i couldn't wait to add it and i think it was more or less because i was looking for something that was pretty warm and cozy for my bedroom because you all know that i like to burn candles separately in my master that's a little bit different than the whole living area space so this is vanilla snowflake I had to get this one because the notes, I was like, oh yeah, I'm looking for something that's fresh, clean, but a nice vanilla sweet sort of fragrance. And that's what I thought I got out of this one. So it's frozen vanilla, ice fur needles, and then mint leaf, and then coconut flakes. Smells amazing. The mint leaf and then the, the ice needles in it, like the pine needles, oh my gosh, or the fur needles, shall I say? That's what makes this fragrance clean and crisp. A nice earthy woody fragrance to a vanilla fragrance I absolutely adore that that combination is so nice and I cannot wait to burn this in my master bedroom this does bring the warm and the cozies and the snuggles I like it the next one oldie but a goodie husband have to have it every year he has to and that is crushed candy cane legit smells like a candy cane like those nice thick candy canes crushed up that's what it smells like. Those candy cane sticks, yes. So it's crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and then frosted mint leaf. That's what I'm getting. Crushed up, thick candy canes. <laughs> Amazing. He has to have it every year, but Brian, burn him. Burn him. <laughs> so there you go. And the next one, the next one is something that I was, I was actually going for something that was nice and herbal, to be honest with you, and relaxing. So this one will be burned primarily in my beauty room because my husband does not like herbally fragrances. He cannot stand it. And that is white tea and jasmine, especially mixed with that, <laughs> with that floral note, he will run me out of the house. But I had to have it one because I like the packaging. This is not anything that's new to Bath and Body Works, but this is my first time actually owning it. And I thought it was nice and pleasant. So it has crisp white tea, soft jasmine petals, and then fresh bergamot. And I like it. And the bergamot makes it, it's, it's just so relaxing. You know what I mean? So I cannot wait to make me a nice jasmine tea, sit off in my beauty room and just admire all of my things. <laughs> I cannot wait. This smells so good to me, guys. It really smells good. If you have this one, this OG, let me know. <laughs> all right. Another mashup candle, guys. That is cinnamon spice vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. This packaging is uglier than the first packaging. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my word. So yeah, I did pick this up and I picked this up because I was intrigued. So of course, this is something that I could actually kind of make here in the lab. You know what I mean? Because I do own both of these candles, but I don't feel like burning all those candles. So I just wanted to see how this one smell. I only got one um, just because it's testing out purposes. So it's cinnamon spice, vanilla and hot cocoa. And it has decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon and vanilla bean. Now in this, you definitely get hot cocoa and cream in the background, but you get a lot of the cinnamon in it. So it literally smells like you've taken hot cocoa like the swiss mix like hot cocoa and then you've taken an actual cinnamon stick and ground it up on the top and then add a little splash of nutmeg that's what it smells like it smells good it smells good to me it, it really and truly does so i hope it doesn't doesn't any you know like do anything quirky when it's burning though because that would be a mess <laughs> all right another newbie another newbie girl and this is like a this is a good one y'all this is a good one i am so pleasantly surprised and that is afternoon rainfall oh my gosh 
afternoon rainfall such a beautiful name at that you know what i mean so it has soft raindrops tapping on your window what bath and body <laughs> bath and body words what kind of note is that and then you have fresh aloe blossoms and then a hint of musk okay that's more like it but soft raindrops tapping on your window what are y'all talking about <laughs> But it's amazing. This is a soft, serene, calm fragrance. And oh my gosh, on those rainy days, this would be so dope to burn and cuddle up. But I'm going to tell you, hmm, to me, this has like the first day of spring written all over it. Like, oh my gosh, coming in, smelling your home, smelling so crisp, smelling so soft, serene, like your sanctuary. I cannot wait to burn this. And I think I'm going to save it to burn it around that time. Y'all, it was so good that I had to have two. But I am going to tell you, this fragrance is about 90% fresh aloe blossoms. So you have to love aloe. And I love aloe. I do. I do. So, got that one. I almost wonder if that is a repackage of fresh aloe. You all know when that came out with Desert Wildflower back in the day. I'm sure I know it, listen if you the candle lovers like I am if you are you know exactly what I'm talking about I think that that one could possibly be a little bit of a repackage but I'm okay with it because I hadn't seen it in a while all right the next one old school old school you know she come out every year every year she comes out and literally will probably go on sale for 75 percent off but i had to have it in this packaging because i'm gonna tell you what it reminds me of and that is throwback winter winter is just so good to me it literally is very nostalgic it smells like winter if a fragrance could smell like winter it smells like winter it smells like it's snowing outside you're in the campfire you got the campfire going you also are in the house in a cabin looking at the kids play throwing snowballs and you can see all of the snow falling off the pine needles, the trees, all of that. That's what it smells like to me, all wrapped up in a candle. Smells amazing, especially when it burns. This is another one that I would say do not shy away from if you smell it on coal or in the top. Don't shy away from it because when it burns, it blends so well. It does. So I picked up this packaging, guys, because this packaging, if you all love movies as much as I do, doesn't this remind you of Avatar? Y'all, yes, it does. It really and truly does. So I love it. In this one, you have white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spice clove. Now, the sparkling clementine and then that spice clove, they add a nice citrusy yet spicy element to this woody fragrance. And I love it. I love this fragrance. Okay. The next one is a nice woody fragrance that has a smoky element to it. And I am not a fan, y'all, and don't kill me because I know there are some fresh balsam stands out there. That is a good fragrance, but I don't necessarily add that to my collection. I always bypass it, but for some reason, I could not pass this one. And this is balsam and firewood. Oh my gosh. This packaging is so sleek. I love it. It is just as good as what this wax smells like. Honey, this wax is everything to me. So in this cedarwood, cardamom, white birch, three notes, so simplistic, but so powerful. I love it. Oh my word. This is your campsite fire, like your firewood burning, crackling. You get those vibes from this and it smells so good with a little bit of smokiness to it. And I cannot wait to burn this. I am going to burn this in the bedroom. It's just giving, okay? It is giving. And unfortunately, in the store, there was only one left because everybody else loved this joker too. So if I can find it, I'm going to go back today, maybe in the morning. Sundays are a little bit sparse, so I don't know. I'll, I'll be kind of pushing it if I do that. So I might just go back today to the mall location and see if I can find one of these because I have to have another one. It smells so good. Now, keeping in line with like the woody, I had to pick this up because I have been jonesing over this fragrance ever since I smelled it. I went in store and chose leather and brandy first. And I said, you know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to get it. And it was on my radar for candle day. I had to get it. But guess what? I only got one. Why? <laughs> I'm going to go back and get one though. Don't worry about it. And that is cypress and amber. 
The amber note in this fragrance is so smooth, it's sweet, but it's good and woody. I love it. So in this, we have dark cypress, smoked amber, and then fresh bergamot. Oh my gosh. That is actually what you get. It is so, so nice. Like I said, you get that nice piney like type feel from the cypress. And then you also get, oh my gosh, that amber has a nice sweet element in it along with that bergamot to add a splash of citrusy to it. But you do get smokiness. And it's grown and sexy, kind of masculine. So I'm going to tell you, if you don't like masculine fragrances, maybe not up your alley. But if you like mahogany teak wood, black tie, anything like that, you would love this leather and brandy. You're going to dig this candle. It's amazing. Perfect blend. Cannot wait to get another one. Don't know why I slept on it like that. Girl, what would you think? Next one. Uh, when I got it last year, I knew I needed to add more. Unfortunately, I did put myself on a budget restriction because I was not going to go broke for candle day because I still got to give people gifts. <laughs> yes, I still am thinking about the cheering, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho i saw it and i threw it in the bag this year i ended up getting two and that is in the stars i'm not going to spend any more time on this candle this candle literally smells just like the body care i love in the stars i know not many people do love in the stars but it's a nice champagne element in it and i absolutely adore this fragrance it smells heavenly it's sexy it's sensual it's seductive it's alluring all of that needless to say for anything that has all of those qualities is being burnt in the bedroom. So it has bergamot champagne, night blooming water lily, and then pink salted amber. I love it. It's to die for. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. <laughs> now the next one, this is one that my husband kind of fell in love with. And this was eucalyptus snowfall. He does not remember us having this from last year, but we had this last year. But he smelled it in store. And you know what he did? <laughs> There's one. <laughs> There's two. He wanted to get a little bit fancy and get it in the packaging, right? Knowing he's not giving that to nobody for a gift. <laughs> and then there's three. So he ended up getting four of these eucalyptus snowballs. Now I'm going to tell you the truth. Eucalyptus snowball is really freaking good to me. It is like a clean laundry fragrance to me. That's what it smells like because the eucalyptus is done so great. Bath and Body Works does a hell of a job on eucalyptus, um, like, like that note. It is so good, especially when you put it in, in fragrances. It smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Yes, this is a relaxing fragrance. Again, reminds me of cleanliness, crispness, as well as like the laundry like type vibe. And I'm okay with that because after a deep clean, you want to burn something like that to keep the party going. Okay, we want to keep it clean. This is it. Smells good. Definitely recommend. The throw is insane. Even on cold, is amazing. Okay, the next one. Okay, this fragrance had both females and men in a frenzy when it came out, okay? So the men can't have anything because the females was all up in this fragrance and rightfully so because it's so freaking good. And that is coffee and whiskey. The body care, oh, oh, the body care. But this candle? Yes, ma'am, this candle is the truth, okay? So you're thinking like coffee and whiskey? That sounds like a straight wino. No, this is amazing. It's like a creamy coffee bean. You understand what I mean? And then, of course, you have a nice little bourbon element or something in the background. So this is what they said. It's a bold Irish whiskey, a splash of vanilla, and then a hint of coffee. Smells very, very good. Just like you have like a little latte or something like that with an extra shot of espresso or something like that in there. And then like froth on the top and then a splash of whiskey. That's what it would smell like. And it's, it's amazing. It's so creamy. I love it. I am actually going to go back and get another one of these. Definitely recommend it. All right. So the next one we ended up getting because we did not see smoked vanilla anywhere in store. We ended up picking up smoked vanilla whiskey. This is like the older brother to smoke vanilla. This is the one who is dibble dabbing in the stocks and the bonds. You understand? He got it together. So definitely pick this one up. It smells amazing and it gives smoked vanilla an extra oomph. You know what I mean? Some depth and I like it. Cannot wait to burn this one. This has always been burned in the master bedroom, so cannot wait. In this one is dark oak, bourbon reserve, and then smoke vanilla. So y'all, 
definitely definitely recommend i am not going to go back and pick up another one because honestly smoked vanilla lasts me all through the winter and then you know going into fall again so i am happy with the one this is actually good all righty moving on i only got a few left y'all only a few left so i have another new one and i'm super super excited about the new one and that is ginger lime twist <laughs> Look at this packaging. Y'all, I am so pleased with the new release packaging. It is so cute. I love it. It looks a little bit luxurious. But this right here is your bonafide, like your Moscow mule. You know what I mean? And I'm talking about with high quality liquor. You understand? That's what it smells like. It's amazing. So in this one, you have fresh lime zest, fizzy ginger beer, and then crushed mint leaves. It is amazing and i cannot wait to get this one done and burned in spring and in summer okay come over to the house and chill for a little nice relaxation day and we're gonna have ginger lime zest burning okay amazing amazing so i'm down to my last two guys so the next one is red white and blue cake now y'all i have saved these last two candles for last for a reason okay now i'm going to tell you that when i went in store this was one of the candles that was sitting up at the register like on like a little end cap right next to the register and i told my mom i said hey just throw that one in the bag i honestly thought that this was firecracker pop i love myself some firecracker pop I actually own that candle. It literally smells like the popsicle. So it's amazing to burn around the spring and summer months, right? Got to the house and realized I had picked this candle up. And I was like, you know what? Damn it. But I'm going to smell this candle regardless because it might be a hidden gem. And I might just have thrown it in the bag by accident. And it be a wonderful mistake, like a beautiful mistake, you know? <laughs> so let's tell you what. Let me, let, let me, let me go into the notes, okay? So it's red raspberries, ripe blueberries, and whipped vanilla cream with soft white cake. So I'm thinking, okay, so we're probably going to smell like a little bit of cake frosting, like vanilla cake frosting with a little bit of fruit elements, like fresh fruit elements added on top. So I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be pretty good. Sis, I don't know. This is the most awkward smelling candle that I have smelled from Bath & Body Works. I am just not... I'm just not feeling it. It's something in the background that's coming off like a little bit bitter tart, like tartus of the tart is what it's coming off as. And I just can't get with it. I can't get with it. This might be one of those fragrances for me now, for me, that's headache inducing. So this joker is going back to the store. Yes. The next one another newbie and i had high hopes for this candle i could see this candle being burned in my beauty room all day long because i felt like it was going to be just luxurious you hear me honey and that was pink rose and leather now if you watch my community tab you already know going into this how i feel about this candle now this packaging like i said this new release packaging has me in a chokehold it is beautiful this nice salmon color is like everything to me it's very girly feminine and i had to have it Hun, but this wax, this wax, let me tell you the notes. Supple leather, blooming rose petals. Sounds amazing, right? Comfort and patchouli. Now, when you say comfort and patchouli, I'm thinking it's like the patchouli that's in the aromatherapy comfort line, the vanilla and patchouli. I was thinking it was going to be like that, a very mild patchouli, tolerable patchouli, but well put together. This is like a dirty patchouli. You understand? Kind of grimy. And I'm not ready for it. It's like pungent patchouli. You feel me? And then you have supple leather. This is more like a soft leather smell. And it was kind of like a, let me, okay. Y'all, this is going to sound kind of messed up. I don't mean to get down on this candle because somebody might love this candle. And honey, maybe burn it. It might be, it might be pretty good, but I just don't think I can do it. This smells like, a leather jacket that has been put up in the attic for centuries, okay? And you have pretty much put mothballs in the pockets of that jacket to preserve that jacket so things won't eat away at that jacket. And what you've also done is now put in a wallflower plug, like a wallflower plug. You put the wallflower plug in the wall 
with a rose and ivy like type fragrance to it you understand to make sure that your attic smells nice and pleasant when you go in but that leather jacket and the moth balls have have done something you understand they become pungent old smelling like an attic and that is what this candle smells like to me i'm not feeling this candle and it has to go back immediately and i think what happens is the patchouli is what is off-putting to this candle if you would have had just those first two notes i think we would be able to do something with this but it's the fact that they put that patchouli in there and oh my gosh it's a mess mm -mm. it's going back immediately <laughs> All right, guys, so that is all that I have for you all for day one candle day. I do, of course, have some exchanges to go back and pick up, and I'm going to grab some new ones that um, I really wanted in my collection, like multiples of, and that would be this Cypress and Amber, and then I want to actually grab another one of the coffee and whiskeys. So hopefully I don't have anything more to add to my collection, guys, because I think I've done enough damage, and plus I do have the online order that my husband submitted um, coming in sometime next week and i'll share that with you guys too so let me know in the comments how you guys are feeling about candle day day one and day two so far did you get what you wanted on your wish list or even did you even have a wish list you know what i mean but let me know if you found some hidden gems as well and some of those ones that you're not too pleased with so i look forward to catching you guys in the next one have a wonderful shopping day and weekend guys and happy holidays to every one of you peace